Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to run our Firefox and Chrome tests in parallel. First, let's, let's try to change something in our test in GXML so we can run our tests in parallel. So let's go to test in GXML and let's do next, so parallel. We're going to run tests in parallel, so let's type tests here. So this is one test, this is second test. So these two tests will run in parallel. And now thread count. How many parallel threads do we want to have? Since we have only two tests, let's put two parallel threads. And let's run test and see. Run as test ng. Okay, I see I see Chrome and I see Firefox at the same time. Looks like everything is working. One is on top of another, so we can't actually see what's behind, but there was Chrome behind, it's already finished, and now it's okay, done. So our tests were executed twice as fast because we run them at the same time. Two tests executed, Chrome and Firefox. But now you see in the log here it's just a mess. You, know, you don't know which which line of the log from which test, from which browser they are exactly the same except this line where it says start in Chrome, start in Firefox, but method setup is the same, fill up email and password. And just imagine if you have 10 different tests running in parallel. It is going to be impossible to read log. So to fix them, let's use instead of instead of this system out print line, let's use log for j. So first of all, uh, let's go to this page, uh, Apache log for j, and let's add the dependency to our project. So copy it from here, go to pomxml and add it under dependencies. Malen update. Okay. Uh, now uh, next step add the properties file. Now we need to create properties file and this page is good example of how it's supposed to look like. So let's copy the name and here's the link if you if you want to go there. Uh, let's go to our source main resources folder. And let's create file new file file let's call it log4j properties and from this page let's copy everything from this page and let's paste it here uh, all this stuff you can change uh, so instead of printing year months day hours minutes seconds and stuff like that like for example if you want to add milliseconds just do it like that. And I believe there was a link here for, yeah, the references, the manual and pattern layout. So you can go there and actually see how to change the pattern. But for right now, let's save what we have. And now, basically, we need to no, first of all, we need to create our uh, log4j. Let's go to our base test and let's create protected variable. It's going to be logger and let's call it log. So let's import uh, org apache log4j. And now let's let's use it. So basically here instead of 
system out print len, we need to type log that info and it's gonna print the info uh, in base factory yeah we have this in base factory also so let's just let's do next in our project let's do search file containing test let's search okay so we have few places in pages in tests now I'm not gonna touch first and second test but I'm gonna replace it in our login test so here instead of system out print line log.info let me copy this and let's do it everywhere log info profile page login info login page login info log info browser driver factory and base test in method teardown now let's save now we have the error in browser factory because well, basically it doesn't know what log is so let's right click on get driver method and let's do refactor change method signature and let's add logger log okay cannot be resolved to type why not base test log missing type logger hmm. import yeah, it looks like import fixed the issue oh I see you have login page extends base by job okay yeah that's another place where we need to fix the login so now uh, basically let's go to our login test so now here when we create our login page let's let's do the same refactor change method signature let's add Longer log. Okay. And here, same gonna go up to our base page object. And inside of the base page object, we do the same protected. Longer log is gonna receive this logger here let's import apache log4j and this log equals the log we receive from here save so we fixed it in the no didn't fix it yet constructor why well I guess we need to import it here also let's see let's save so now just the profile page left so basically we do the same in profile page logs go here and logger log goes here let's save let's import and I believe one more place yes so now here inside of login page we have this method push sign in button which creates new profile page so now in addition to driver it also want to get log save and all the errors are fixed I hope I wasn't too fast and I hope you 
you could follow my my steps and fix all the errors and put the lock everywhere it should be oh, I guess you could just stop video and repeat whatever I was doing now before we can run our test we need to initialize lock let's go to our base test and let's create another protected method protected void let's call it setup class Uh, we want to receive i tech test context. Let's call it context. Just like that. Let's import it from testng and let's add uh, before class annotation to this method. Uh, make sure you import it from test and G and not from G unit. Now inside of this class, let's create string and call it test name. Uh, let's use context and from this context we can actually get the name of our test. So if our nest name is login test Firefox, that's what we're gonna that's what we want to get here so from context get current xml test and get name so now we have the name of our uh, test as the variable and on next line let's create our log log equals logger get logger and as the name let's put this test name so now when we're gonna start our test it's gonna create the log in bef when when it's gonna set up class it's gonna create log and for the log name it's gonna use our test name now we can run so let's right click on test in gxml and start our test Now I see Firefox, I see Chrome. Looks like Arison is working. <laughs> and done. So now when we read our log, we see today's date when I'm recording this video, my time. Uh, login test name and then that's line number 24 I believe yeah 24 uh, we don't actually need this here we can change uh, and and our comment so if if you guys want to change something here and I actually do just go here to this log4j properties and change to whatever you whatever you like. Um, so I want to cut this thing from here. I want to add it at the beginning. Um, I don't want to print this line number. Uh, date. Uh, I don't care about the date. I just care about the time. Uh, like that. Let's save and let's run it again. Oh, let's let's add square brackets here. Run. Something wrong. Yeah, doesn't work like that. Let's stop our test. Let's quit our driver. And if you didn't know, you can just stop your test just by clicking this button. Now let's run it again. Oh, 
Okay. Yep, now now it changed. Now we have our test name in front, then time with milliseconds and then our message. And to add the square brackets, you actually need to add them here like that. So let me run one more time to see the square brackets and and that's going to be it. Yep, the square brackets around our test name. So everything is working and that's gonna be it for today.